Hi, my name is Elaine and I work at the Moore Public Library, which is part of the Pioneer Library System. I'd like to welcome you to Process Art for Preschool Fun today. And I would just like to tell you a little bit about Process Art. Process Art is basically, it's in the name. We are encouraging children to enjoy and be creative in the process and not giving them something uh, to look at that tells them what it's supposed to look like, uh, a sample for an end product. So in doing that, we're focusing on their creativity. We're also allowing them fine and gross motor skill practice, problem solving, and a lot of other great things. For this project, you'll need paint, rubber bands, paper, and spaghetti. You will go ahead and open up your spaghetti and you are going to take out enough for a few little bundles. In this case, we're gonna do three spaghetti paint brushes. So take your little spaghetti and stack it together and tie a rubber band wrap a rubber band around one end and that's going to make the handle for your paintbrush and then you can use this just like it is and dip it in paint but today we're going to use it as a paintbrush so we're going to do three bundles put the rubber band around the top get those three bundles ready and then you're going to need an adult to help out with the next part after you get the bundles ready, and kids can help you with this part. After you get this um, this part done, pour a little paint into each of your trays. We're gonna use three different colors. We're using some fall colors here today. And just get those paints ready, and then your adult is gonna take it into the kitchen and cook it. So you're gonna have a little pot of boiling water like you're gonna make spaghetti, and you just Put the end, the rubber band, side up and just keep that out of the water until it's done and then you're going to have a paintbrush. So then you'll dip your paintbrush into the colors and create your beautiful work of art onto your paper. I think we'll go ahead and create a little fall scene. It could be like a tree or just some fall leaves and of course encourage your kids to create whatever they feel like creating and here you go. Okay for our next project today we'll do a relief print. We need some styrofoam from a to-go container, we need scissors, we need a pencil, something to make a circle, some paint, maybe a plate for your paint and a paintbrush and um, you'll also see a roller there. You can also use anything, a cup or anything as a roller. So draw out your circle Cut out the circle, or any shape really, but we're gonna use a circle today. And then use your pencil to press down and make a design, any design you want, onto the styrofoam. The idea is to just make an indention as you're drawing your design. So uh, let kids be creative and do whatever they'd like. They might wanna put their name, they might wanna draw a picture or make a design whatever they'd like to do. And then you're going to take your paint, put it into your plate or your tray, get your paintbrush and paint it onto the circle. Then turn it face side down onto your paper and use a cup or a roller. Here I use the bottle of paint and just roll it, kind of press down as hard as you can. Um, this will give a design and you can even do it an again without applying more paint or you can apply more paint. Our final project today is foil painting. You want a piece of foil, some cardboard, some paint, and some cotton swabs. So you'll let the kids wrap their cardboard with foil and then you'll want something to put your paint out in. Here we've used, used a paper plate and give them cotton swabs. Painting on foil is such a fun art technique for young children. The reflective nature of the foil makes it very appealing for toddlers and preschoolers and the cotton swabs glide onto the foil in such a way that's very appealing and fun for the kids, almost a sensory activity within itself. Um, it's also great for fine motor skills as they 
um, use the cotton swab as a paintbrush. That's a great fine motor skill activity. So they can create whatever they'd like on their foil. And as it dries, it'll dry just like it would on paper. And they'll have a, a really beautiful finished art project. I want to thank you for joining us today for Process Art for Preschool Fun. Join us for some more fun in the future. Thank you.